you. All right. Hello, thank you so much for buying from me. Please let me know when it arrived. And this is, oh my gosh, what a way to start this off. Okay, so this is a real gem. I don't collect these at all. These are from the Japan fan club. Sometimes you stumble upon stuff and you just have to get it because I don't know, why not? Wait, there's a human picture. Oh. Yes, I love that. Okay, <laughs> that makes me so happy. So this is the photo. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. Like, absolutely. The Japan Fan Club gets nice stuff. It's just blank on the back. But, oh, that's so nice. He's so cute, like seriously, seriously. All right, next on the top of the pile, I have this, which, ooh, this is Jimin's um, BTS World thing. Look at him. But Jimin looks really cute in this. This is a really cute photo card. broadcast card yes uh, I finally have my set for both of the ones from what era was this oh my gosh why do I always forget see I am horrible at remembering eras do not ask me to remember a title because I probably can't do it just saying but this is his broadcast card for boy with love persona it's so cute I've been pretty on top of it with the broadcast cards. How do I open this? What is this? Oh my gosh, wait. I think, wait. <laughs> I don't know how to open this thing. Wait, oops. All that was in there was this. This is um, the photo card for Yoongi for, <laughs> what is it called? Oh my gosh, someone help me, please. Um. Whatever they just did in Japan. I forget. I know I have the albums, but like, I just, I can't think of what it is. He's so cute. Look at him. Oh, and then the back is just the logo. Okay, so there's a story time that goes along with these items. So, as you know, I went to the BTS Love Yourself, Speak Yourself concert, and those were probably two of the most tragic concert experiences I've had because it was so cold like I I wasn't prepared first of all for how cold it was and it rained and it kind of snowed ish no it did snow like my fingers turned blue the first night and <laughs> that was the first winter concert for BTS and then they made one for the second day where it rained literally both days the weather was just not on our side it was just a mess the boys did amazing but I was freaking cold both days but these are very pretty pins um that is the website next I have a box the first thing I have in this box is this so this time around for Red Velvet, they did Time to Love. It's kind of bent, which is a little annoying, but I guess I could flatten this down. It says Time to Love, and has all the SM stuff. And obviously, it's this really, really cute picture of Sylvie on the front. I like this kind of glitter hollow. Really, really cool. They've been really into the hollow with the SM merch lately or like the past few years, let's be honest. Um, so it's it's cool. It's very big though. I like it though. They're cute pictures. I think that all of the girls looked really good in their pictures. And then it comes with this little card holder. Looks like that. I like the yellow, very, very cute. And then the words, time to love are kind of hollow. And then the back is just a plain old card holder. So you would put your card like in there. I'm not exactly sure what's in here, but is there anything else? Nope. All right, throw you away. Um, put you over there. Ooh, okay, so these are my Joy photo cards. I think both of these are from the day one version. Ooh, I'm in awe. And then 
the second one. I just, I love everything about this order and the seller was just super amazing. So there's this Minjoon, speak yourself. And then there's this little group card. I love OT7 stuff. <laughs> this, oh my gosh, look at this PC21 sticker. This is so cute. This made me so happy. So I have a BT21 bag and it literally is Shooky and Chimmy. I always wanted a BT21 bag because there isn't a BT21 store near me. I don't think I'm going to New York or LA anytime soon. So I'm really happy to have this. Yes, I like to collect that. I don't know. I like to collect everything if you haven't noticed. Thank you for your purchase. No problem. Like, thank you for all of the goodies. Like seriously, if you guys haven't checked out Mercari, it's definitely a great place to look for, you know, things if you aren't familiar with eBay. So totally recommend you doing that. And I have my Yoongi card for Love Yourself in New York. So, so happy about this. How do I open this? Why can't I figure it out? Okay. <gasps> look at my baby. He's so precious. Oh my gosh. I love him. Look at him. Look at the back. I feel like this set is probably going to take me a little while to get just because of Jimin. Jimin always gives me a hard time, I swear. But, oh my gosh, look at Yuki. So, I have my Yuki standee. So cute. I absolutely adore this thing. Love it. Um, I got the mini, white mini photo cards right here um and then i have the guest book cards the ticket holder and then i have this one <laughs> which is oh my gosh more beats world stuff this is so unnecessary but i got the pre-order little lanyard thingy card tags oh nice package i swear I have so many packages over here. I thought that this was garbage, but no, I just hadn't gotten to this one yet. Hi. Thank you so much for Oh my gosh, oh yeah. I forgot about this one. This is the only item that isn't red velvet or BTS. Literally, I think it is. I have Jisoo's cover, finally, after so long of saying that I was going to get it. I finally have it. So this is the CD. It's literally just the CD. And I got this off Mercari. I think it was like really, really, I think it was like $7 because it's cracked. So the way to fix a cracked CD, especially since it's a jewel case, it's really, really easy. You just grab another jewel case, especially if you have some available to you and you just pop everything out. It's not that hard, so we're gonna do it right now. While I have all of this... Oh, I guess I never did that. Okay, so you take out the things that are inside. Purpose was a really good album. Will he ever top it? Doubt it. There you go. Pull it out. It's a little tough. I really thought I was gonna crack it trying to do this. Okay all the Justin stuff and this looks like a pretty good CD case it just has like the little sticky stuff from the little security measure but whatever it's good as new no crack I have BTS's UNO cards. <laughs> of course I ordered two copies. One, I think I'm gonna put the photo cards probably in my binder and then the other one is just going to be, I don't know, for a collector's sake, I guess. UNO, I really have no idea how this game works. <laughs> I have a memory of my cousins playing it in front of me but I have no memory of ever actually playing it myself. These are so cool. Like, 
who has their own uno deck none of this makes sense to me i guess i could read the instructions but like who am i gonna play with honestly so i decided to get something so i could get the free shipping on the website so i bought a i bought this version of danger from their japanese merch so i have another album for that this is the cd under it a group picture <laughs> photo book is literally just lyrics as expected and then I have two copies of lights here for BTS I have the normal version and then I have the photo book version don't fall I also got RM's pop for my little pop collection I didn't bring the pop over but I have the box that should count for something right this is red velvet I already know because it is more time to love merch oh my gosh if I can get this out oh my gosh <sighs> this stamp is here like what am I gonna do with this stamp how does the stamp even look I don't even know is it like oops oopsies wait come out I need you I need to find some paper we need paper people paper and Oh, it's her face! <laughs> oh my gosh, look at her face! That is so cool. Okay, I take back everything I was about to say about how this stamp was kind of dumb. That is the coolest thing. Oh my gosh, and it comes with a photo card, which is the main reason why I bought it. And this is the photo card. Wait, how do I open this? Huh? Oh! <laughs> All right, I clearly need to finish this video quickly. All right, so look at Sully. So cute, I love this yellow in her. It just looks so good. The whole time to love photo shoot is just adorable. I love that the photo cards look distinctly different from one another. And she looks so cute. So this stamp, it gets my stamp of approval because I really like this. I think this is absolutely adorable. Now this pouch, Whose idea at SM came up with the idea of putting this very bendy pouch and then having this photo card just free in the bag, just whatever could bend, whatever could happen to it. Like, why would you do this? This bag, like it's cute, but <laughs> this glitter, oh my goodness. I don't, it's not my thing. Like, oh my God. Like, I wouldn't carry a bag like this, honestly, but it's it's cute. Another very beautiful picture. I guess I could carry this to the concerts. Would they let this in if they have another concert? Next is all of the albums that I've accumulated over the past few weeks. And first up, I'm going to talk about BTS World because, um, I'm just so annoyed that they're releasing, they released or have pre-order for a limited version and like, <laughs> it's just so, like how are they going to have a limited version and the Amazon release date for BTS World isn't until August 2nd. I'm filming this July 31st. So like literally two days away, they announced the limited version on the 26th, I think. And like, like my mind is just blown. Like whose decision was that? That doesn't really feel like a big hit decision entirely. Like it feels like more of a net marble thing just because BTS hasn't had a limited album until, well, BTS hasn't had a limited album since, well, school love affair special edition. Like photo books don't count, like actual album. They haven't had a limited version since then. So to have it for BTS World is just really odd. And then the timing of the release of it in comparison to like the Amazon orders and stuff, like that just doesn't even make sense. That's not something that makes sense at all. So I'm just sitting here like, why not just release the limited version at the same time as the normal version so people could make a decision if they wanted to get the limited or if they wanted to get the normal one. BTS World itself is not my game, but you know, I know it's someone's game. Someone's out there enjoying playing it. My three copies of Red Velvet's Revifus Day One. 
and I have Silgi and Joy, and then I have the regular guidebook version. My Chang'a album, which I have an unboxing for up on my channel. I have my M-Wave signed copy for Chang'a right here. This came in yesterday, and I waited until now to open it. I'm so geeked. This is my first signed album for Chunga. Ah, I can already see the signature. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Okay. Look. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She touched this at one point. Can you believe? Oh my god, look at that. Like, are we kidding? Uh, let's see. Okay, so I have the same postcard. I got this photo card. I think, which one did I get in the other one? I think her hair was down in it, but I got this one. So good I got two different photo cards. Two more things. Final stretch. I have been recording for like almost an hour, so um, we definitely, <laughs> this haul definitely needs to come to an end. And I have Red Velvet's Kino. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't planning on buying the Kino. Like, I was sitting here trying to convince myself that I didn't need it because I don't really care for Kinos at all. I don't know why SM is still trying to make the Kino a thing. I feel like majority of companies who were entertaining the idea of Kinos, majority of them have given up on that. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I never see Kino things anymore. I don't know, did SM help create the Kino or what happened there? But anyways, this is a very special Kino because it comes with Silky's photo card. I saw this listing and I just, I had to get it because it just saved me a lot of trouble and it was the cost of literally purchasing Silgi's photo card. So I figured why not get two birds with one stone and get Silgi's photo card and the Kino. So this is the image on the Kino, very basic. And then it has the track listing and then it just goes in there and then it has a little photo book. I don't know, is this photo book different from like the actual photo book? So I have Sulgi and Joy's version of their Allure cover for Korea. Oh my gosh. This is so absolutely beautiful. I found it on Mercari and had to snatch it up because a lot of the listings on eBay were saying like, oh, we'll do random cover. And I was just like, oh my gosh, that's a lot to pay to not get the cover that I want. Like literally both of my red velvet biases on one cover is just meant to be for me and absolutely stunning. I love this photo shoot. I love a lot of the photo shoots that Red Velvet have been doing this year. I really wish I could have gotten Joy's one cover. Uh, it was the one that's really, <laughs> it was really stunning. And I was just like, I need that. I just never remember to go back and get it. I feel like I never get this much stuff in a month. I usually have like a week where nothing comes in and I usually will film a haul during that time. But this month I was just constantly getting stuff that kept coming in back to back to back. And <laughs> that was absolutely crazy. I think August will be a lot more chill, but this was like a really massive red velvet and BTS haul with random appearances by Jisoo from Blackpink and then Chunga. <laughs> Let me know what you've gotten in the month of July or anything that you're really, really excited about that's coming in August. If you are going to the BTS exhibition in LA when it goes, or if you're going to KCON, who are you excited to see? Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment if you have anything to say. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on alerts if you want to. And that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.